<coughs> uh, so here is it, it is, I just finished it as you can see it, small uh, proper uh, it has itself a uh, uh, power supply for uh, the small components about 12 volt and then uh, it has also have, uh, the, a fuse for the lamp and this uh, is a receiver TS OP uh, 1738 so it's very handy uh, I'm gonna hook, hook it up and show you guys how it's, uh, it's working As you can see, it's lighting. Uh, this LED here is indicating the, the, the power is on, and this here is indicating that the circuit is off. And the green one indicates when the circuit is on. Here's my remote. As I switch, uh, as it uh, TS up, uh, receive signals from the uh, from the remote, it's gonna change to green, meaning the meaning the circuit is on, like so. Off, on. Can use any remote. Let's see as well. So I'm gonna put it off and hook my lamp. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna power on. Uh, it is the circuit is off now. The power is on. Take my remote. See, the green light is on, meaning the the circuit is on, and as you can see, the lamp is lighting as well. Can you need, you can use any remote? So it's very uh, useful and handy uh, in your room or anywhere. Uh, I'd like to show you something uh, about another hooking uh, saving light lamps like this one. Uh, you have to know that it has some electronic inside here. So this lamp to, uh, to light it has to charge for a, a moment first before uh, lighting. And I'm gonna first switch it off. Okay, back on. You see, it is showing it's green here, but the lamp is not lighting. For, for so for that to solve that problem, you have to press the button and hold on. And then it's charging itself. You can see this is gonna light up. it off again okay. 
My battery is almost dead. Uh, battery is almost empty. That's why. Yeah, nice. It's fully charged. Off. See. Uh, press like this. It won't light. Press and hold on. On. It's because of uh, the charging said yeah, the, the lamp has to charge first to light up uh, this bulb. Uh, you can always add more lamps if you want. Like so, power on, remote, uh, you're gonna notice it's gonna show uh, almost same problem again, uh, not problem but uh, because of the this uh, charging lamp for saving light lamp, I'm saving uh, lamp, this one, eh, never mind, it's gonna get off because it has to charge first, so I'm gonna hold on, press and hold on, this on seems to get both of them. Press the button off. Press one to turn it off. If I hold on, it goes on. I'll put it off again. On. and with this one you can see just because there's no, there's no electronic inside here just a bulb and it just goes on so if you if you have if you want to use a saving light bulb uh, with this circuit uh, maybe it's better uh, to change uh, this part here and use a use a, a transistor or use a relay Hook up with the transistor. That's that'll be more easy. But for me, I just I'm okay with this. So I just use it. There's no moving part there. But for if you want to work with the saving light lamp, you need to change this circuit here and use a relay. So I hope guys enjoyed. We can build your home. It's useful as a, for home applications. So. Yeah, it's, it's very useful to use uh, such uh, LDs, uh, such circuit to so for indication. You have to know uh, when it's on, when it's off. Uh, since there's no moving part here, so it's very useful to use LDs.